Hi everyone, Kieran Stone here. The video I have for you today is about creating your own actions and specifically for making luminosity masks in this video, but you can make actions for any particular process you do in Photoshop just to streamline your editing for future projects. So for this one, we're going to be creating some luminosity masks, but we're going to start recording an action before we start making those and then we can go back and play that action anytime we want. So to create an action, we need to go to our actions panel, which is represented by the little play triangle, or you can go to window and select actions as well. Um, you need to put your action into a set. You probably have some sets there already, probably just default actions. Um, but if you want to create a new one, you can go to your menu and create, um, select new set. And for this one, we'll just to just call it tutorials. And then I need to make a new action. So going down to the little new action button, um, you'll have the option to name it. So this one I'll just call luminosity, if I can spell, luminosity mass. There we go. Uh, it's going to be in my tutorial set, or I can choose any of my other ones. You can give it a function key, um, such as Shift F3, if you just want to use keyboard shortcuts, I'll just set it to none for this set, for this case. And you can give it a color as well. So if you set your actions to a button mode, then it'll have a particular color, so it's easily identifiable. So then we just need to record. So now our action is recording, and anything we do in this is going to be recorded. So not mouse movements, but um, any clicking or um, selections that we make or new adjustment layers that we create will be recorded. So to create some luminosity masks we'll go to our channels panel and we'll create, we'll start with our highlights and then make our shadows and our midtones. So to create our highlights we need to make a selection of our RGB channel. So holding down control and clicking on that will create a selection and it's pretty much just making a grayscale selection of our image. Uh, so if, to create a new channel or a mask, just click the little mask button down here. So that's our luminosity mask for our highlights. And I'm just going to create one more for our shadows. But since that's the same as that, we need to deselect our selection by pressing Ctrl D and then invert this channel by pressing Ctrl I. So now we've got our highlights channel and our shadows channel. And may as well just rename these now just to make it a bit easier to see. You don't have to rename these. Um, I generally don't, but um, it'll just make it a bit easier to follow here. So our highlights and our shadows. Now for our midtones, we need to um, select everything and then subtract our highlights and our shadows to give us what's left. So to select everything, press Ctrl A, see our marching ants around everything, and to minus our highlights, press Ctrl and Alt, you'll see the little minus button on the cursor, and just click on our highlights and shadows. So we'll get this little warning saying no pixels are more than 50% selected, selection edges will not be visible. And that's just telling us that we're not going to get any marching ants. But there still is a selection active. And you'll see that when you click on the mask button down here. And you've got your midtone selection. And the selection is still active, so we'll just press Ctrl D to deselect that. And then we'll rename our new channel to midtones. And there we go. So as you can see, as we're doing all this, it's recording all the steps that we're taking here. And for one final step, I'll just reselect my RGB channel just to bring us back to our color version. And then I'll stop recording. So all this has done is meaning that that whole process of selecting, inverting, and subtracting those ones, if we delete these, so go back to what we originally had, then if I select my luminosity mass action and press play, it's just created those 
layers for me there. So instead of having to go and make selections and everything, it's just done it there. So in future images, if I need to create luminosity masks, I can just press a button and it'll create it for whatever image I've got. And just as a, a further action, because these can increase your file size, uh, it's probably a good idea to create a new action. So we'll create a new action and we'll call this one delete masks. And while it's recording, we'll just select our highlights, our shadows and our midtones and press delete and click yes. And we'll stop that recording. So now if we were to create our luminosity mask by pressing play, we can then go to delete mask and press play and that'll delete them. And that'll save space on your for your file as well. So you can see once I've created those, my file size is um, doubled. Whereas once I delete them, it goes back to the normal file size. And yeah, so that's it for creating actions and uh, luminosity masks. Um, you can check out my other videos for how you can make use of these luminosity masks. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to um, get updated on my latest videos. And also check out kieranstone.com for a full edit of one of my images. That's an hour long edit. And I'll see you next time.